So far in this series, we've looked at the grid method for multiplication, which relies on partitioning. We've looked at the expanded method for short multiplication, which doesn't require us to partition the number because the children are already confident with that, but it does show our working out. What we're going to move on to now is the compact method for short multiplication. And just to reiterate, we wouldn't move children onto this until they're absolutely confident with this. I'm going to use the same calculation so we can compare all the way through. Um, we're going to do exactly the same calculations. Um, we're just going to set it out in a more compact way. So the first thing we do is 7 lots of 2. 7 lots of 2 is 14. Instead of showing that as a 10 and 4 units, we're going to now carry over the 10 into the 10's column and put our units in here. We're then going to do exactly what we did previously. It's not seven lots of four. We cannot have the children say seven lots of four because seven lots of four is 28. And if they're at 28 in this calculation, they're going to have the wrong answer. It's seven lots of 40, which is 280. And then they've got this 10 that they've carried over. It's not a one. because if it was a one, that would give us 281. It's seven lots of 40, which is 280, and a 10, which is 290. And again, with this carrying over, that is not a 2, it's a 200, it's a 2 in the hundreds column. So we do 7 lots of 300, which as we know from previous videos, is 2,100. Add on the 200 would give us 2,300. So we've got 2,394, which is exactly what we had previously, but you can now see that we're much more compact in our setting out. So it's time for you to have a go. At this point, you can pause the video and unpause the video when you've had a go at the calculation to see if you got the answer right. So I've given you 1,473 multiplied by six using the compact method for short multiplication. Okay, so there's the answer, 8,838. Did you get it right? If not, you can go through and look at what I've done and see where you went wrong. So six lots of three is 18, that's a 110 and eight units. Six lots of 70 is 420. Add on that 10 that you carried over, gives you 430. Six lots of 400 is 2,400. Add on that 400 that you carried over, gives you 2,800. And then six lots of 1,000 is 6,000. Add on the 2,000 that you carried over, and that gives you 8,000. So if you've got any questions or comments about that method, you can email me. Uh, next up in this series is the expanded method for long multiplication.